Uh, hello, good afternoon, and thanks for this opportunity. I'm going to uh, talk about the new semantic trajectory ontology model for modeling and reasoning of movement data. And recently, several types of uh, research have been suggested in the last few years for modeling and analyzing raw movement data, but they main, mainly concentrate on studying the geometric uh, view of raw trajectory data and do not consider the semantic facet of moving object. Therefore, the major challenge uh, in uh, trajectory data modeling and reasoning is the definition of techniques to enrich raw movement data semantically. In fact, uh, for better interpretation of data, uh, we should uh, not only pay attention to the uh, geometric features of raw data, but also and we should investigate from the meaningful semantic view as well to interpret and understand their meaning. Uh, we can use three approaches uh, to the representation and modeling of semantic trajectories, uh, data type based, design pattern based, and ontology based modeling. That, uh, that data type is not sufficient to support the semantic trajectories applications requirements and also design pattern based need database designer uh, that is covered in the detail in the article. But ontology based model can represent a richer semantic and involve any kind of uh, semantic annotations. And also these models are naturally extensible. Therefore this paper and investigates a new ontology based model for uh, modeling and reasoning on movement data. And this figure is an extended conceptual model of semantic trajectory. The aim of this model is to represent the concepts and relations of the movement domain where trajectory data and semantic movement patterns are to be interpreted uh, aligned with their activity types. The conceptual model contains information uh, related to moving object, uh, raw trajectory, sub-trajectory, semantic sub-trajectory, uh, and a new part uh, as seen in the green box contains information such as semantic place, stops, moved, uh, semantic features, activity types, uh, and behavior type. Each trajectory can be divided into several sub trajectory uh, that each of them consists of stops and moves. Uh, as you can see in the picture, uh, that each stop as shown in the figure could have different semantic features that they are divided into five different types, uh, such as stop frequency, average duration, um, stop land use type, stop, uh, stop point of interest, category type, and uh, stop begin time, which can uh, help to infer the type of activity that occurs at each stop. The important thing uh, is that the type of activity depends entirely on the user's location or place. For instance, uh, if a place uh, is close to a university, the most probable activity types would be studying, teaching, or working. Uh, and also activity types are correlated uh, to time and in particular number of stops per week. Uh, in a specific location and time of each stop. For uh, another example, if the place is a restaurant, different time periods may be interpreted as uh, different activity types. If the time period is between 30 minutes uh, or uh, three hours, it would be interpreted as dining. And um, if the time period is between three hours and eight hours, it would be interpreted as working. And so in general, to predict the type of activity, and excuse me, and to predict the type of activity, and we get data like a P and that is around the uh, stop, L is the land use type where the stop has occurred. SF is uh, the frequency of the stop in a week. TB is the begin time of the stop in the place. And ST is the average duration of the stop in a week. At this step, some rules can be defined on the capture data 
in order to extract uh, different activity types. Uh, as shown in the semantic trajectory ontology model uh, in the picture, it consists different ontologies uh, such as uh, spatial ontology, temporal ontology, um, geography ontology, and uh, theme ontology. Um, this, uh, the spatial ontology, which is a description for the geometry components of a trajectory, the temporal ontology, uh, uh, which integrates time concepts and rules for modeling semantic trajectories, and the geography ontology describes the place places where people move uh, through and includes a variety of land use types. And also theme ontology model gathers a wide uh, range of application dependent concepts. Therefore, uh, integrating uh, these ontologies together uh, provides the semantic description of application relevant trajectories with their domain specific semantic meaning. Uh, these ontologies are integrated are uh, integrated into a unique ontology by setting up rules between them. You can see some uh, examples in this table. Uh, for instance, if the land use type is residential, uh, the begin time is evening, the stop frequency per week is more than five, and the average duration is more than 10 hours, then the moving object is spending time at home. Generally, the prototype development consists of three steps. Uh, the first step is the data preparation, and the second step is the semantic enrichment process, and the final step is the ontology-based activity model. The information retrieved from the previous step is used to populate a semantic trajectory ontology model for reasoning the activity type as shown in the figure. Indeed, uh, the uh, extracted semantic features uh, from the uh, prototype uh, development step are used to populate semantic trajectory ontology model, and then the reasoning engine is executed in order to classify the activity types. In this figure showed uh, all the stops annotated with uh, different land use types. The performance of the ontology model was evaluated using a data set, which was captured by user in the city of Calgary for a year in 2018. It has about uh, 862,000 uh, GPS records. The attributes collected include user ID, uh, date, um, uh, speed, and location of the users. The land use uh, data includes different types, such as commercial, urban development, residential, park, industrial, and etc. cetera. Uh, also, the Point of interest were downloaded from the uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, in the point of interest category, uh, as shown in figure, most of the stops belong to the shopping, business services, food, uh, and recreation categories. Uh, the semantic trajectory ontology model was uh, populated using the ex extracted information in the previous steps. Uh, a web interface application was developed to collect users' feedback to validate uh, the proposed uh, methodology. The experimental outcome and the evaluation results are duplicated uh, in this table. Uh, the table was, uh, shows um, accuracies per activities. Uh, for example, good results for activities of type uh, business services. Uh, were uh, obtained uh, while the method was unable to identify um, daily shopping. To conclude, I want to say this research proposed a new ontology-based approach uh, for modeling and reasoning on movement data. In comparison with other approaches, several semantic features were added uh, to the proposed ontology model to enrich the relationship between objects and uh, semantic features, duration, frequency, land use type, point of interest type and start time. Um, as a limitation, this research does not focus on multimodal transportation data, and it just concentrate on users who drive their own cars. The results were promising and inspired us to extend the number of axioms in order to uh, 